About five years after I announced to my family members that I would never continue with school and become an employee in my life, my elder brother, who is older than me by more than one decade, called me and announced to me, Look, he said with an angry face, If you destroy your life, don't ever come back to me because I will reject you. I smiled and told myself, If I don't take risk, dying building my business, won't I eventually die working for another man? I left my brother that night and went on to have another three years of failure before my first business breakthrough in the year 2016. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the reason why I think having a job is riskier than starting a business. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Before getting started with this video, let me make it clear that I don't think everyone should be an entrepreneur. I have been an entrepreneur for 11 years and I'll be a liar to say everyone in the world can go through the hell entrepreneurship offers. Instead, I think so many people who can be entrepreneurs are not because of fear, fears of risk and failures, job risks versus business risk. Now, let's try and look at some risk involved in building a business and getting a job. When we compare these two, maybe we will see how the job is riskier than starting a business. Only about 2-3% to of businesses will ever succeed enough to make their owners rich. The very first thing to scare you away when trying to start a business is the fact that more than 90% of businesses will never succeed. This is scary. But look at it from this perspective. Only 1-2% to of employees will ever get paid enough to make them live a good life. While most businesses will never succeed, most jobs will never give you enough money. So, what's the difference? To me, I don't see how getting a job is better in this sense. You need capital to start a business, but you don't need capital to start a job. Well, I have good news for you. Not good news. You also need capital to start a job. This is what most people in our society get wrong. They think it's harder to start a business because you need capital to start a business. Well, the same capital you need to start a job is the same capital you need to start a business and that is knowledge and skills. Let me explain. I decided that I was not going to continue with my schooling in the year 2008. I left school and started resuming to the library. What I did here was very simple. I knew that I needed education. But the kind of education I needed wasn't the kind that school was built to give. Going to the library and reading books about entrepreneurship means that I was getting an education, just as most of my mates are getting an education at the university. So, what is the difference? In the university, my mates were taught how to be accountants so that they can have the knowledge that could help them get good jobs. In the library, I was reading books about human relationships, leadership, negotiation, psychology and stuff like that. Now, let's compare our results. With the certificate my mates get out of the university, some of them were able to get some jobs, others got good jobs and a few got great jobs. With the knowledge I got from studying entrepreneurship, human relationship, psychology, negotiation and so on, I was able to raise capital to start businesses. I need to explain something here. It took me a lot of time to master some of the skills I learned in the book. I had to practice, fail, make mistakes and get rejected. I started by having little results and with practice I began to have some good results and I eventually hit a big break. Yes, the capital you go to the university to acquire, it's this certificate that will give you a job. The same capital is what anybody needs to start a business. Whenever people talk about getting capital to start a business, what they think about is money. Well, that is the most stupid thing people believe about business. Listen, businesses are not started by money, the owner's money. Businesses are started with knowledge and skills. Just as you need to go to the university to acquire the right skills, which will end up being the capital you need, you have to acquire business knowledge and skills, which is the capital you need. So after acquiring the right knowledge, how do you get money to start a business? Napoleon Hill said, Capital, money is everywhere for those who know how to use it. I'm telling you the truth. The resources you need to start a business are everywhere if you know how to get them. The reason why most people are not attractive to the money and resources they need 
is that most people don't have the capital they need, which is the knowledge. I've gotten money and resources from anywhere you can probably imagine, and that included strangers and people who know me only on the internet. And remember, I come from a poor country, Nigeria, so you won't tell me that I was lucky to be born by rich parents. The capital you need to start a business is the same capital you need to get a job. That capital is called knowledge. What if my business fails? So far in this video, I've been trying to compare the risk of starting a business with the risk of having a job. And to me, both of them have the same risk. The next thing I want to talk about is what if your business fails? Well, what if you get fired? What if you can't get a job? People get fired every day from the jobs they have invested several years in. So why do people think losing business is different? In my career as an entrepreneur, I've lost many businesses. But to me, that wasn't different from some of my friends who lost their jobs. When you lose a job, what do you do? You start looking for another one. Maybe you'll get a good job or you won't get on time. When you lose a business, what would you do? The same thing. Start looking for ways to start all over again. Is it more difficult to start again from scratch? Absolutely, but so is looking for another job after you've invested one decade of your life in a particular job. What if the economy is not good? Well, you're more likely to lose your job in a bad economy than to lose business. Yes, the profitability of a business can suffer during a bad economy, but oftentimes, entrepreneurs are smart enough to have two or three businesses. Sometimes last year, I had a problem with one of our businesses. Yes, it was painful and a few of my employees lost their jobs, but it rarely affected my personal life because I was still able to earn some money. Jobs start giving you money from day one, while businesses don't. More than anything else, I think the biggest motivator for employees is the instant gratification. Jobs start giving you money immediately after you get one, while business may not give you any money in the next five years. This, I think, is the only advantage the job has over the business. But guess what? I would rather love to be in prison for one decade and spend the rest of my life as a king in the palace than to live all my life as a slave. In other words, I would rather live five years of my life as a poor, stupid, broke individual and then spend the rest of my life with massive wealth than to live all my life as an average person who lives from paycheck to paycheck. Again, let me remind you that this video was not made to claim that employees are less important than entrepreneurs. Instead, we make this video to challenge people who know that they were designed to be entrepreneurs. If you are convinced that you were wired to be an entrepreneur but you have fears that getting a job is less risky, I am here to prove you wrong. Getting a job is riskier than starting a business because as I have proved in this video, every single risk entrepreneurship entails is right there on your way to getting a job. Where entrepreneurship beats jobs is when you become successful. Even though both employees and entrepreneurs have to go through similar risks and uncertainty, when both of them succeed, one is a hundred times richer than the other. If you think you're wired to build a business, go for it because the job is riskier than you were made to believe. Do you know about our inspirational channel? We call it Hunt TV. And we use the channel to inspire people like you who want to do great things with their lives. Look at the description box to see the link to Hunt TV. Join the Hunt TV and we'll give you daily inspiration until you achieve your dreams.